Hey guys, it's Jeff at Pirate Jeep Productions here. Um, a couple of weeks ago I posted a video of uh, recovery straps, uh, kinetic uh, recovery ropes and, uh, and such. And I've had a few questions since. Um, one of them being uh, uh, what rope is best for me, our, our snatch strap, etc. Well, uh, let's me just start back at the beginning again quickly here, okay? Um, like I said in the other video, this here, this one here is a uh, a tow rope. Okay, it's uh, it's not for recovery. It's strictly for pulling people. It's got a metal hook on the end. Uh, it's fine for pulling your buddy out of the woods or down the road uh, to get him out to the tow truck. Uh, but this is not meant for recovery. You should not uh, use it as a snatch strap. Um, metal, uh, anything with metal on it is not a good idea. Uh, not to mention the uh, the stretch factor in this is probably 2%. So when you pull somebody, it's going to be a hard jolt, okay? So anyway, that's the, uh, that's the tow rope. I don't recommend using it. Like I said, okay for towing, but not for recovery. Uh, this here, this is your, uh, your basic uh, snatch strap. Uh, this one here, I think, is uh, 20 feet by, uh, uh, by 2 inches wide. And uh, it's made with a, uh, a nylon. Um, and then it's got uh, leather wrapped looped ends. Uh, if you for recovery, they must be like this. Have a looped end, no hooks attached to them, no metal attached to them whatsoever. Chains are completely out of the question. Chains you're okay for towing, but not for recovery. Okay, so this quickly here is a uh, your basic uh, recovery snatch strap. Okay, this is uh, uh, this has a, a stretch factor of about 10%, I believe it is. 10% uh, isn't a whole lot doesn't give you a lot of elasticity, gives you some elasticity to get you, uh, you know, but uh, you got to give your buddy a good tug uh, for it to store up any kinetic energy to give that slingshot effect, okay? And when you give a hard tug like that, well, sometimes it, things go wrong. These things break uh, a lot more readily than a rope, uh, the kinetic recovery ropes, I'd say. This, uh, so, you know, you got to keep them in really good condition, uh, and like I said, if you give a really hard jolt on this thing, they'll snap. Um, you'll know when it does because uh, you're going to hear a gunshot. Uh, it sounds just like a gunshot going off, and uh, I want to show you quickly here. This is what happened. I don't know if you can see that from back there in the video, but this right here is completely and entirely caved in. My entire grill, this happened years and years ago. A buddy was trying to pull me out and uh, I was mired quite hard in the snow. Uh, when he gave me a hard jolt, uh, he put a lot of force into it. And when he did, the st strap broke. Uh, it was a 30-foot uh, strap. 10 feet came back at me and caved this in. That's 10 feet of strap when it broke. Came back, caved my grill in. Uh, I hope you can see that in the video. It's, it's quite the indent. And uh, you should have seen my buddy's Cherokee. The other end broke, and when it did, the 20 feet of strap went back at his Cherokee. It went through his back window, bre breaking his window, took the uh, windshield wiper off the back window with it, uh, which grazed my buddy's head, and, uh, and went right through with enough force to crack the windshield of his uh, Cherokee. So it went right through the back window and right to the front window cracking the uh, the front window of his Cherokee. So uh, that's why you know yeah these are okay they're cheap that's what it is uh, you know it's a cheap and an effective uh, uh, recovery tool but uh, you know for me I, I would rather leave it alone and go to the quality Next thing in line here is a kinetic recovery rope. Now, like I said, that uh, the tow rope had about 2% uh, stretch factor. Uh, the snatch strap has about 10%, somewhere about that. So it stretches about 10% um, 
enough to give you a tug, but uh, you know, when it comes to a really good jolt, a really good tug uh, on the vehicle, uh, this kinetic recovery rope will give you 30% uh, if not more uh, stretch. So that 30% uh, it's like a friend of mine said, I was pulling him out, he had a four-door JK, I was pulling him out and uh, he said, man, it's so smooth, you know, when because it's all a slingshot effect because the, ropes, the rope stretches so much it gives you a nice soft slingshot uh, effect. And uh, he said, man, it pulled me so softly, it's, uh, it's like being pulled out by a big fluffy cloud. So <laughs> I, I got a kick out of that and uh, I, I, I told ASR uh, Off-Road that that's what they should uh, use for a, uh, a model. It's like being pulled out by a big fluffy cloud. But anyway, folks, this here, uh, this one here is made by ASR Off-Road. You can get them at uh, www.asroffroad.com and uh, there's other companies that sell them but uh, at twice the price. Uh, ASR is really reasonably priced. Honest to God, you look it up, uh, just uh, for instance, the uh, uh, 7 8 uh, kinetic recovery rope which uh, the other company recommends for uh, a Jeep size vehicle and smaller. Uh, the 7 8 is uh, I believe um, if I'm not mistaken it was like 199 whereas ASR had them for under a hundred. Um, you know like that's a huge difference you know double the price. So uh, ASROffRoad.com, that's where I got this one. This is a one inch. Uh, it allows me to pull a full size vehicle out of a ditch, whatnot. Uh, lots of stretch factor and that's the whole key to it. It's the kinetic energy that the rope stores when you pull on it. Uh, it uh, you give a good tug, the vehicle that you're pulling out, your vehicle will pull, the rope will stretch, and when the rope tries to go back to its original form, that's the kinetic energy stored in the rope that will give the slingshot effect to the vehicle that uh, you're recovering. And that uh, little uh, slingshot is what gets them out. And uh, like I said, this is the best way to go, folks. Uh, you'll spend a little more for a kinetic recovery rope than you will for a snatch strap. But man, oh man, uh, if you're in this sport, for the sport and you're going to continue to uh, wheel, uh, then you know don't even waste your money on a snatch strap. Go right to a recovery rope because uh, you know this is a dangerous sport and recovery is the dangerous part of the sport. Uh, other than that, you know it's a fairly safe sport as long as you do everything right. And uh, by I, having a kinetic recovery rope, that is doing things right. So I highly recommend it. Uh, like I said, folks, asroffroad.com. Uh, that's where I got mine. Oh, and I must add, this is something that I just read on their uh, website recently, is uh, not only is it the best price kinetic recovery rope, they also now have the best warranty. Their warranty on this rope, three year no fault warranty. That means you know, you, uh, you pull your buddy out, your buddy accidentally drives over, it gets caught in his axle, uh, puts a cut in it, uh, it's pretty much garbage at that point. You just wasted a whole bunch of money, but not with ASR Off-Road. Uh, their warranty is a no-fault three-year warranty. So they'll replace it once in three years uh, for only the cost of shipping. You can't beat that. That's a nice security. Not only that, uh, not only for their kinetic recovery ropes, but it also goes for their uh, uh, their uh, uh, synthetic uh, winch ropes. Uh, I don't have one on here yet, but I've ordered one. I've got one coming, and uh, in the next couple of weeks, you'll see a video of me installing my new uh, synthetic uh, winch rope that I also ordered from ASR dot, uh, asroffroad.com just for the reason their warranty man like you know that's when you're spending 300 bucks on a winch rope you know to have that security of knowing that if you break it uh you know they're going to warranty it no fault for three years 
uh, that's that's nice security. So ASROffRoad.com, I can't say enough good things about them. I'm uh, I'm on the bandwagon. You guys should be too. So anyway, um, I think I covered what I wanted to cover in this video. So. Uh, Anyway, thank you very much for watching everyone. Uh, thank you for subscribing to the channel, Pirate Jeep Productions. Hit the button if you haven't subscribed. Uh, we have lots more safety videos coming. There's already some in the archives. Look through the 600 videos, that, 600 plus videos that I already have online. Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy some of them. Lots of uh, everything from mild uh, Jeep runs to uh, uh, wild uh, buggy runs. So uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Uh, thanks for watching.